Hey, what's up everybody? RPM with you here. RPMWS.com, RPMTech.tv. And RPM's Tech Garage, here where we work on all sorts of stuff here. Right now we got a little makeshift studio set up here for you. And one of my benches, actually this bench right here, is what I use for building motorcycles. Uh, we're going to use it because uh, I need it for this electronics demonstration. And uh, first item that we've got that we're going to work on today is an item that actually is uh, kind of near and dear to my heart. This is a phase linear amplifier. It's a 700B by Mr. Bob Carver. It's the first company that he had. Uh, he's a revolutionary in uh, amplifier design. This is from the uh, either late 70s or early 80s. It's one of the original early ones. And uh, we got the top off of it here. It's a monster. Everything on it is actually in very top shape. It works very well. However, there's some fuses in the back here. I'll show you these, uh, these fuses that they actually fuse this thing. Man, this thing's heavy. Uh, they fuse this thing for speakers. Um, the speakers are actually fused. The speaker outputs for protection. And the uh, original uh, owner uh, did not have or lost the fuse ends, the little caps for the glass fuses. Uh, these little pieces got lost, and there was apparently there was hard sourcing those, and so he didn't have a way of uh, putting fuses in here. Somebody had taken the fuses out for the speakers. So uh, what they did was internally, and I'll try to show you here. Internally, they basically put some fuse holders internally. Well, that's not really the way this thing is supposed to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing apart. Try to get the soldering iron in, in there and uh, take those old fuses out, those fuse holders out, take the makeshift fuses out, and install some of these right here. They were only like three bucks a piece, but they're quality, look like decent quality. And we're going to put those in the panels. We've got some actual glass type fuses here that we're going to mount in there, and we're going to get started here in just a minute. I'm going to set up the camera so you can see me taking this thing apart. Stay tuned. 